Mahanati. Just wow. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and today I'll be talking about Mahanati. Directed and screenplay by Nag Ashwin, starring Kirti Suresh, Samantha Akinini, Dalkar Salman, Vijay Devrakonda and many more great artists. First of all, I would just want to say it was a beautiful film. It felt like I experienced a whole life. The movie is two and a half hour long and it's sometimes slow but when the movie ends, it justifies it. The director has really given justice to a whole life. At the end, you feel invested into it. At the end, when we see glimpses of our life, you feel like, oh my God, we have come so far. To create that experience of living her life in just two and a half hours is just brilliant. See, I'm no intellectual here sitting and talking about the movies. I'm no critic. I just want to share my experience of watching this movie and know about your experiences in the comments. First of all, I would like to talk about the acting. Kirti Suresh was superb. Right from her teenage to her mid 40s, she pulled it off with ease and it was so believable. Dalkar Salman, this is my I think third time I'm watching him. Previously, I've seen him in Solo and Karva, and I think this one was his best performance I have seen till date. Samantha, I'm just in love with her and her characters. She's a brilliant actress, and even her character in this was so likable. Vijay Devrakonda, I mentioned my Arjunadi review, you can check it out here, that I would like to see him in a different character. I've seen him in Arjun Reddy and Nota, and both are kind of similar, but here he was really good, and I really enjoyed him. Very simplistic, calm, shy guy. He really brought out the innocence of his character. Hats out to the director, how he blended two stories. One, the biography of Savitri, and the other story talks about Savitri's influence on the next generation. The impact she has, it was really very well done. It's based on true events, but it's still a work of fiction. Now, I cannot judge that, so you guys have to tell me how much was based on true events and how much was fiction and i think i really missed a lot because i don't know about the history of tamil and telugu cinema i don't know those big stars we witnessed in the movie and you could tell the way the stars were shot they were given time that they are very important and i'm sure the fans the new generation would have loved those scenes getting to know how that scene from that classic movie was shot what was happening behind the scenes and all that i'm sure you guys loved it do share it with me in the comments below. The cinematography was really good. I would particularly talk about the two shots I just loved. I have never seen them before. The first one is when Savitri learns that her husband is cheating and she first time drinks. The camera is behind her and slowly, slowly, slowly it revolves around from the top and comes on top and then she starts drinking like this. So that was just an amazing shot. And just next shot is when she lays down the bed and that also is done the similar way i really enjoyed that i'm sure they have concentrated their own camera frame to do that i just loved it it was very good and it really blended with that scene itself the other scene i want to talk about is more about the lighting and again when she's drinking for the last time it's all blue like this which really talks about her grief and emotions inside coming out in the frame and then we see glimpses of her life which are in sepia tone and you could see the contrast what her life really was and what, ha what it has become and you could see that how her early life started with that tone and when she got married and everything happened suddenly the tone was slightly slightly turning into blue I love that using cinematic techniques to show the inner emotions of the character what she's going through from a happy beginning to a sad end even the current love story between Samantha and Vijay I want to point out two scenes when first Vijay proposes to her standing on the car the way Gemini did it for Savitri and really they added humor in that that the car is going on there's a tree he's trying to get rid of that and then the driver's coming out and pulling him it was really really funny and again at the end when she realizes that she has to get to her true love and she goes to the church as soon as she reaches there i understood that he's not getting married someone else and that whole scene was just funny and there samantha did an amazing thing when she learns that it's her sister's wedding she just turns to the bride and she's like come let's and she goes on. that was really good cherry on the cake 
I really liked how the makers continued her legacy. She was the first female superstar. Of course, a female would play her character, even Samantha's character, maybe some time ago, could have been played by a male who is finding about Savitri's life. But I really like that they choose a female character to explore her, and that really links the dynamic that how one woman has inspired another woman. And within the film, the legacy continues, and how the film explored that. it never felt forced it all happened organically one thing i would really want to appreciate that both the male leads are big stars in their respective industries but here both of them played a supporting character they were not the focus of the stories but they still took up a role like that and did justice to it to be honest i should not take their names specially because this is something that should happen and you should not be appreciated for something that is normal but we live in a society where male are more dominant than female and that's slowly changing so you have to appreciate efforts from male stars male actors who are taking charge of bringing quality so guys that's it that was my review of mahanati it was really beautiful to watch i would say the first half was slow and sometimes boring but at the end when you realize that what you have experienced when she meets her father you remember those scenes in her childhood and then you feel oh a lot have passed and you feel that you have gone through a journey that was just incredible so guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down no problems tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on this video and on the movie if you haven't subscribed yet check out other videos and if you really enjoy them consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you for watching and i'll see you next time